So coming up now, it's time to decide who's going to win the gold medal in the women's team recurve here in Colombia. Well, you have to say, it's a team we know love their recurve archery who are the favorites here. Korea at the top of the order coming through the USA in the quarterfinals and then 6-0 in the semis against France and they'll go up against Italy not a bad team themselves let's welcome them out onto the field of play here in Medellin Damas y caballeros recibamos con un gran aplauso a los deportistas que se disputarán la medalla de oro The Italians lead out the line for this gold medal match. Uh, Vigia uh, Boari, Tatiana Andrioli, and uh, Vanessa Landi. In la parca numero dos, representando a Italia, Tatiana Andrioli, Lucia Boari. Vanessa Landi! Well, the Italians have got their work cut out for them. Here come Korea, Kang Che Young, Choi Mi Sun, and Chang Hye Jin. So this Korean team is is quite stacked against this Italian team. A lot of very prestigious awards between all three of them. Uh, but this Italian team has definitely been vamping up since since I know it is 2015, um, and so they're I think really looking to to push this Korean team. Well, Korea on target one will shoot first. to expect that they look extremely comfortable in this finals field something you notice of most teams is that they are a little bit in a hurry to walk up to the shooting line with the Koreans they just take their time and they have over half of their time left yeah but the response from Italy is a pretty good one and it, well, to be honest with you I think these first three arrows from Italy are really crucial to how this match might pan out from Italy right at the start of this gold medal match 
That will settle their nerves for sure. And potentially it will give Korea something to think about. solid and puts the pressure right back on the Italians. Trying to give that a little bit of correction, this swing of the bow there at the end. And it uh, looks like she's just adjusting her sight there. Uh, this is now out of reach for the Italians. They can only get 54. So oh, and a high six there. Uh, it doesn't really matter because the, the set had already escaped them. Uh, Korea solid going through their process dropped an eight on the fifth arrow but two tens either side of that took them to the first set and, uh, smiles all round in the korean camp <laughs> and here are those uh, two tens that uh, sandwiched that eight two best shots so far in this gold medal match How's your Korean, Mackenzie? Did you understand what the coach was saying then? No. Yeah, I, my Korean's not great, but I, I pick up on a couple of things. My uh, Both my coaches are actually uh, Korean, so we, we swap a couple of phrases. But um, I think that what the, the coach is doing, every shot with the their archers is just telling them, keep going, smooth shot, you know, encouragements for the process, and I think that's what is most important to focus on in a finals match is just your physical process, mentally staying where you need to be to shoot good shots. Well, we know the Koreans are very disciplined, but if you look at this Italian team, their uh, processes, you know, they seem very, very process driven as well. Absolutely. They seem pretty serious, to be honest. I think uh, something that might help them out is a couple of high fives, a little bit of smiling. Uh, honestly, will shake things up and get you back where you need to be. Well, trailing, the Italians will shoot first in the second set of this gold medal match. They need to fight back, and they need to fight back right now. It's a little bit longer of a hold for her. Um, let's see how Lucy helps her out. That's on the line, but it will be scored as a 10. Great response from Italy after the 7 at the start, two 10s. that Korea are capable of a maximum score. There is quite a bit of wind out there though, so that, that is something that uh, may help the this Italian arch archery team out quite a bit. to the Koreans, Mackenzie. Uh, nine followed by a ten. 
another solid arrow here and that the pressure will really be on Italy. They still keep it within a point though, so Italy definitely has a chance to come back with some three really strong shots. Still really long timing from from that archer. Yeah, both arrows pulled to the left. Of Vanessa Landi. She swung that bow arm, but honestly, it's a really centered shot, so I think she just wasn't happy with the feeling of it. Again, I think that just shows, just her shot there, it, it shows that, like I said, that time and time again, quicker shots are shots that really are centered. Um, as long as you have the feeling of your shot, a quick shot is definitely better, and the Koreans are excellent at this. Yeah, it goes through their process. But, uh, I think you make a good point, McKenzie, that uh, there's a touch and a feel to this sport, this game, that uh, unless you've shot uh, an arrow, you, you, don't, you, you wouldn't know, you wouldn't understand. Yeah, and we, we practice so much, we shoot so many arrows that we know right, I mean, before the the arrow is even shot, how that feels. Well, big chance here for Korea to go four set points to nil up. Ten secures that. They uh, take the second set 56 to 53, but crucially, their four set points to love up. And what that means is in set three, they only need to draw level with the Italians. Absolutely. Uh, I think Korea definitely made a good, uh, made a good uh, deficit for for themselves. So, uh, or sorry, Italians made a deficit for themselves to where. Uh, uh, Koreans have been so strong throughout uh, this match, uh, as they have been throughout the tournament. And uh, what do you think about those groupings? Just that eight on the upper right? Yeah, I, I honestly don't think I've ever seen the Koreans shoot this many nines. Uh, but I think on a day like this, it's it's just good enough, and that's all you need. And to clarify, what you mean is they usually shoot tens. <laughs> yes, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, and uh, they are known for their tens. Uh, here we go. Uh, here's, here's a couple of them. 70 meters, remember, everybody. 70 meters away from the shooting line, and they're hitting something uh, no bigger than the size of an apple to score a ten. Smiles around in the camp for Korea. They were looking pretty serious right at the start of this, but uh, I think they feel that they've already done the job here. Sometimes that can be a mistake. So Italy trailing, and they'll get to shoot first. This to save their skin in this gold medal match. A much quicker shot and she gets a nine. I, again, I think quicker shots are what, what really needs to happen for this Italian team. Still gets a 10, that's what they need. shooting from the Italians just dropping a single point they've found the center of the target and they've put a little bit of pressure on Korea so standing on the line at 70 meters oh, got a quick uh, glimpse of how fast these arrows go 207 kilometers an hour 
response from Korea all they need to do is match the Italians and they've got this match because uh, they'll share the set points and the target for the winning team is five a longer hold but she still earns a 10 for that shot they really need a perfect score here to put a little bit of pressure on the Korean team Well, door wide open. And even the stadium announcer sounded uh, disappointed with that seven. So a potential 59 on for career if they shoot three tens here. So they've got wiggle room. Uh, I think really favorites not just to draw level here but to take both set points and take this one six nil that's why champion here is going to sink this one right in the middle. Yeah, all they need is a seven to win. And as predicted by Mackenzie Brown, the Koreans finish up with a 10 and they take the gold medal here in Medellin, 6-0. The Italians started to find the center but it took them two sets and you really cannot give the Koreans the lead that they did. Korea seal the job here at stage one of the Hyundai Archery World Cup of 2019. Well, smiling faces there is confirmation that uh, Korea, Kang Cha Young, Choi Mi Sun and Chang Hye Jin are the gold medalists here in Colombia. <laughs> 